G'day mates, and welcome back to Communist China, the Road to 56 mod. Last time we left off... Oh, hang on, what's this we got? <laughs> oh yeah, we should be building artillery that we don't know how to invent yet, or rather, how to even build yet. Anyway, ah, oh, why did I... No, okay, screw it. We're going to start researching artillery. Hang on, have we got the artillery group? Yes, we do. Okay, we're going to start researching that. Um, also, apparently we have national... What? Oh... Oh, we literally do not have a choice for national focuses, because we're just so far... Alright, we're going to go with a uh, extended focus then. How much... Yeah, we're getting that... Of course, we've got the patriarchy. God, there's a lot of stuff going on. Right. Um, <laughs> we could go technology sharing to boost us up that little bit, but I think it's going to be better in the long run to go for, like... <laughs> population growth. How much should we even... We grow 20,000 a day. That's like a, a division a day... Uh, sorry, a month, rather. We can basically just home grow a division a month. Right, um, we're going to want to go armament effort, I think. Yeah, military factory construction. Sure. Military factory construction. There we are. And we want to go... Actually, man, if that's 10% for military factory... Oh, the other one's just like a stand construction, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Right, so we'll focus on doing that. Those we'll worry about later. Cool. Okay, all good. So, um, I am some, I'm almost fully recovered from the whole mouth thing. I can sort of talk normally. My cheeks aren't so horribly fat. It was just so weird talking with uh, with fat cheeks. But, you know, I've got to get that sweet, sweet art surviving content out, don't I? To be fair, I've got to get anything out. Like, goddamn. Um, it was not happy. Not happy days for the first few days. But, anyway. Let's see. We got... Oh, that's right. We're going to go... We don't need a uh, balanced approach. We could go order above all. I mean, honestly, I think it's kind of okay, because we have, like, that... We don't really need that just yet. We'll, we'll worry about that later. We definitely do not want individual rights. That's a terrible idea. Plus 50% partisan effect on us. Ugh. No. Um... Maybe... God, let's just... Let's just get... Let's just... We've always looked at him. Let's just get that armor, dude. Sure, fine. I, there's no reason to, really, but whatever. It gets them off our list. Alright, so we are pushing them out of the mainland. Now, uh, incompetent naval industry. No. Right, so there's nothing we can really do there. I assume... Establish the People's Liberation Army, the Sixth Measure... Whoa, what? The Sixth Theatre, sorry? Rather goes against the USR? Oh, sorry, the, the United States, rather. Um, I assume... Is that First Ministry of Machine Building? I don't really know what this means, but I think I think this might be the thing that reduces that whole naval speed thing. I can't really tell. It's a lot of modifiers. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. I'm looking at what? Oh, it's a design company. That's really weird. Okay. Sure, fine. Maybe founding our nation would reduce it? Maybe. Uh, okay. Well, we need to decide our capital. Oh, hello! We can actually do a thing now. We can do this. Because it's after... Oh, it's after uh, 1940. Um, Soviet Union's at war with that. We can actually do the uh, rectification movement. Huh. Okay. Reorganized nationalist China has capitulated. There we go. All right, we'll grab the last of these boys. Now, what we're going to do here is we're just basically going to station ourselves. Yep, scrap your orders. We're going to station ourselves along the coast and prevent a Japanese invasion. Here we are. And we're primarily going to be worrying about victory points. Actually, just just about ports for now. Um, oh, that's Soviet land. Never mind. We don't don't even have to uh, occupy that. No, right, we're going to occupy these just in case they break through there. Occupy that south bit. Now, Gungaxi Click is with us. Oh, I think it's like Gungshui or something. I don't know. I'm still lost in that name. Ooh, hello. Oh, yes. Now the Civil War has happened. Okay, because the Civil War has happened, their puppet has actually split off. And we can try and take all states. So we're going to try and take these states first. Okay, never mind. We're going to take these two because that one's got 44 steel. Hell yes. Um, Hang on, how many... Oh, it's just telling me area defense. It's not telling me, uh... 
I don't need no area defense. All right, shit. I just wanted to know how many factories there were. All right. It's all right. Anything that China grabs will eventually become ours, thanks to the uh, whole becoming communist thing. Ah, oh, it's an really annoying. Really? Really? All right, whatever. I mean, do we, let's grab land and then we'll try and go for that. Yes. Okay, good. The Japanese Civil War. With the failure in Cotton King. Uh, bleh, let me restart that one. <laughs> With the failure in conquering China comes the uproars of the Japanese people. This major setback in Japan has given the chance for the Democrats to organize a revolution to overthrow the current fascist government. While the losing war in the distance of the people, Hirohito's dream is now but bursted, bu busted bubbles rather. I prefer the word bursted, it's more upper class. Some of Japan's allies ha has leave Japan to their fate as they can no longer rely on them. Wait, really? Okay, I assume the puppets might be the allies? Or does the puppets mean the Axis? Oh, wow, they actually get kicked out of the Axis? That is kind of cool the way that happens. Oh, let's have an aggression pact, how about that? Wait, I shouldn't have done that because I kind of wanted to declare war against you. Shit. Right, never mind. Um, honestly, I have yet to see a non-aggression pact do anything in this game. Like, ever. They should make them more relevant, because I don't... Because if you get pulled in by a faction, non-aggression packs don't matter. If you get put, Like, it's just... It's just a thing that you do to get extra happiness with someone. I've yet to see the matter for anything. Anyway. Um, cool, we've ma manned the borders. We're looking good. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to start China and Japan. <gasps> no, the Lulamin strategy. No, United Front. China and Japan have si signed a white peace. All right. Now comes the issue of, we're going to have to invade you. The Yunnan Free Empire has joined the Axis. Aren't we at war with you? No, oh, Japan was never in the Axis, never mind. The Chinese United Front has served its purpose. There is no longer an enemy to stand united against. We have used this time wisely to build up support across northern China and Manchuria. It's now time to formalize our control in the region. We no longer have a common enemy oh boy so China removes Chinese Nationalist Front uh, United Front rather they get a Chinese matter which means oh right as in like this is a Chinese matter so basically we have a huge amount of national unity but we don't want to be in a faction cool that's fine by me so we're gonna forget all about that Korea is still a puppet yeah hey let me check that out uh, yes yes it is beautiful all right now, what we're going to do here is we're going to grab most of our guys and prepare them all. Look at these elite divisions we've got here. This is good shit. Okay. Um, we're going to go for a straight just march across their lands. Here we are. Because uh, the whole Gungaxi click and uh, click and all that uh, will no longer be a worry. We can just go like this. Shit. Come on. Come on. We've almost gotten there. Come on, just a little bit longer. Come a little bit closer. Perfect, and then we're gonna grab some of our elite boys. So these guys here, some good troops. Split them off and we'll stick them under, oh boy, these names. Um, you are the only one who's actually trained, I don't know, you're a level three. Zudi, all right. Uh, we'll put these under Zudi Nudies, perfect. And these boys are just gonna go knock out Beijing. Uh, and then they can join the main assault. Perfect. Communism advances. Our role in the struggle against the hated Japanese dogs has given much prestige to the CPC. More and more people are seeing that we are the future for China, especially in comparison to the corrupt Kuomintang. Party parades are already organizing the these people into a new army that will swim the, pl uh, the peasant sea. Whoa, okay. Oh, they're all shit, but okay. That works. Let's grab our boys. Actually, that's what we'll do. We'll start training our army. Let's grab all of our guys. We'll start training them up. I'm not going to restart the Civil War just yet. What do you mean with the capital decide? How do I decide the capital, I wonder? Alright. Oh, we can root out defeatism. Nice. Um, which is the one that basically... What is it? What's that give us? It gives us, like, national unity and recovery, right? That's really not that bad, but alright, sure. Let's 
get focused on stuff here. We want to go reforming, no. Amphibious invasion. I mean, honestly, that's not too bad. Whoa. State of Japan. So now they're democratic. Huh. I wonder how this is... Actually, yeah, that's a really good point. This time, compared to, like, the first episode where everyone went fascist, now everyone's going uh, democratic. Oh, never mind. I've just realized the... <laughs> I just realized French <laughs> France is gone. Never mind. Um... Allies, I assume United States. Yeah, you're going democratic as well. Where's their choice? Support the right. What's master? Master of America. Okay, Master of America is a fascist, so they haven't gone fascist. Um, I assume. Yeah, it looks like they've gone the democratic tree. Cool. All right. Let's get our artillery researched. Right. I, I was going to switch it, but then I ended up not. That's fine. Um, what do we want to go for? I mean, we've got tank bonuses. <laughs> what? What? Oh, we have to get all the we have to get uh, all the research done for those. All the uh, focuses. God, there's nothing I even want. We have such a high national unity. Let's just do we really want order above all. Oh fuck it! It gives us fifteen organization, fifteen percent. Um, it's really, really quite strong. All right, cool. We'll stick our boys there. We'll also get all these guys hang on, hang on, hang on, uh, deploying straight into the army. Beautiful. We've got a lot of men. All right. Um, we're going to try and cut down on our division types too because this is getting ridiculous. And we got your... Okay, oh, that's right. We put all our artillery into one division, didn't we? Yeah. Then we have the artillery boys, the tank boys. Ugh, right. I think, yeah, once, we, once we've once we invaded uh, Beijing, we'll retask these boys to go take their little bit here. Although our puppet can actually do that. That's what we'll do. We'll grab a... Uh, request forces. Quit India movement. Okay, 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 fine. What's this? <laughs> the Lithuanian People's Republic wants it. You know what? Sure. How, how you doing, Lithuanian People's Republic? Aw, oh, you went east. And you're actually gonna try and invade Poland. Okay, good luck with that. Anyway, uh, we'll grab up these boys, stick them under Lin Bai. Call them the uh, Bai. <laughs> I know it's a, it's probably like Biao or Bai or, or like Bio or so. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm just calling them the Bai Bai's. So uh, there we go. Oh, that's a stupid name. But uh, here we go. Hang on, hang. On. Here's here's the best. If you ever need to figure out how to draw an army plan and you're like surrounding someone, just do this. Just draw a circle. There we go. That is how an army plan is drawn. <laughs> That's official US arminess. Oh, crap. Yeah, there we go. Well, I mean, I, I'm not sure why I'm saying crap, actually. I'm literally joining the Soviet Union. Ooh, apparently they've realized Trotsky was right all along. Oh, well. Hey, root up defeatism. What now? We can, uh... Oh, we can go army reform. Or we could restart the Civil War. We're restarting the Civil War. Let's do it. We're ready. They're not. So, we want to watch uh, carefully for when it starts so we can actually get our boys trained before then. But we heavily outnumber them and we don't... And they don't have the uh, the same bonuses from the Civil War. We still have protracted war and all that, but... Uh, yeah, they're, they're not going to gonna be ready for this. Be ready for this. Alright, get the Koreans ready. Bloody hell, who do we even want? We want you, Captain of Industry. Um, do we have artillery yet? No, it's still researching. Right, okay. Restart the Civil War. Hang on a second, what's going on over here? Sorry, me bloody timer's freaking out. I love me timer, but it annoyingly has ads occasionally. It makes it quite annoying. Right. Um, what do we even want? I suppose we could get some more resources in. Ship them in from the Soviets. What's the other one we've got? Oil? Why do we need oil? Oh, for our convoys. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna pass. <laughs> we don't really use them quite a lot. But bloody hell, look at us. We have actually gotten bigger than China just purely through a... Oh, we're not, we're not boosting pop. Oh, I mean, it doesn't really matter anymore. No real need to. Okay, we're close enough. Quit. Quit. Babuski. Oh, Trotsky survives. Interesting. Hmm. Oh boy. Our divisions weren't full strength before then, but ah oh well, we don't really need them to be. 
Hey, okay, so now we can be, we could become this. I don't really know what this is and I don't like it because we did it the first time and it just sort of ended up being weird. Let's keep going about this way, found our nation and all that. Oh, maybe we have to go down the Grand Northwest Union or whatever and then found our nation. I'm not sure. Let's go for an army reform. Okay. All in all green. Hey, oh, hello, a Chinese capital. With the end of the... With the end of the... Okay. Um, we shall govern from the old... So we, we need to basically uh, choose the modern incarnation of the middle king. Let me read this. Jesus, I, I skipped through that like five times. With the end of the Chinese Civil War, it is time for us to consolidate power in China and show the people we are the modern incarnation of the middle kingdom. We are the state that will guide them into the future. To this end, we should have a capital befitting our great state. So, apparently we can send volunteer forces, huzzah. Um, or we... I like how we can just take control of Beijing. I think we'll move to Beijing. Why would we Why would we want to rule out of a friggin' mountain? I mean, st strategically, mountain is a much better idea. Actually, no, strategically, Beijing is a better idea because it's easier to feed it to a port and therefore the rest of the country. This one can get surrounded easier, so... Old Northern Capital. Inspiring victory. Reports from the front lines have brought back good news. Sporadic clashes of, uh, of our forces have resulted in our victory and our army's morale has skyrocketed. Whoa, that's a long time. Holy shit. Yeah, no shit. Whoa, that's good. That's going to give us a minus 35% training time. Denmark? Why, Denmark? You are all alone on this peninsula. And you tried this. Why, Denmark? You're, you're winning, Denmark. What in the fuck, Denmark? We'll see about that pact of non-aggression, but I'll allow you to move through my land. Same here. We'll see. Free France, you know. The British Ra, we'll see, we'll see. Um, we've got eight guys doing nothing. Let's get them rolling in onto the capital, shall we? Just go like that. Ooh, our partisans in Manchuria have risen up and helped us gain control of the area. Oh, sure? I mean, I think we already captured them, didn't we? Looks like it. That's super cool, though. I like I like the little partisan effects and all that. Yes, why is Australia sending us towed artillery? You're helping you're helping the communists against Ch sure. Fine, that's that's fine by me. What? I mean, sure. Whoa! What in the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> These aren't fucking partisans. This is Genghis Khan's horde. Oh right, they are one one. But they're apparently the most veteran. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, look at how many divisions I have! I fucking love Communist China! There's so many of them! Look at that! There was 87! 87, 87 divisions rose up! Oh, hang on, some of them are friggin'. Here we go, we'll get rid of the bye byes. Yeah, 87 divisions. Holy shit. I like that they're just size two shit divisions, but my god. <laughs> Actually, their size are uh, bloody. What's it called? <laughs> 1.8. Holy shit. I love how this is the game mechanic they decided on. They could have just given me the territory. They could have given me like five, you know, sort of 10 width divisions or something. No, they gave me 87 one width divisions. <laughs> All with recon, which I don't even have researched. Christ, this is amazing. I, I love this. God damn. Right, let's, let's actually start getting some recon research then. Since apparently it's relevant to us now. Let's, uh... From the United States, of course. You want to send us divisions? Sure. Holy crap. That is... That is a gut belly laugh. Like, fucking... Holy shit. <laughs> oh, just the way that happened. Holy crap, that's good. Right. Fucking A. Oh, we should probably send the bye byes back home. No reason to have them anymore. There you go, enjoy. God damn. I almost feel like we could take on the Soviet Union and become like the actual cop. We, we could become Stalin, right? Because you, you know how. Jesus, what the fuck was that? Um, you know how like Stalin was giving orders to China and all that? I mean, that's actually in the focuses. If we like get orders from Stalin. What if we didn't get orders from Stalin? What if we were Stalin? What if we became... Oh god, I'm invading people again. 
I just wanted to have a civil war and take control of my own country, and now I'm in a, now I'm a conqueror. Oh, hello. So we can found our nation. Becomes there if the communism party becomes. <gasps> oh, 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 hang on. Everyone, I can't actually point to it because I'd have to move my mouse, but at the bottom of that list, there's a very important detail. Gain one research slot. Papa, yes. Like, I, I, I do like how sort of preemptive they are for everything. Like, they assumed the Civil War happened, like, a year before it did, and they assumed that we've won the Civil War. So the, uh, the Japanese Civil War happened a year before it did, and that we'd won the, uh, our home Civil War well, well, well before it even happened. What the shit? Why does... Commun... I own this place? What? What? Why do I... Why do I own that small bit of land? I'm quite confused. Sure. Anyway, that bloody research slot will do as well. Um, let's get in here and, uh... Is there a... No, there's like nothing in it really worth anything. Hey, here we go. We are now the People's Republic of China. <gasps> research slot. Are we still incompetent? Yeah. Yep, we are. Okay. Also, how do we, uh... Lacking skilled personnel. It doesn't really say a way to fix that. See, I don't think we can fix our naval industry, but at least we can fix our, uh... What do you call it? Our industry... Our main industry problems, right? Improved machining tools. Christ, what I... I don't know. Um, communism! Army reform? I mean, I, I want these, but they won't let me have them. Let's go, bloody... Screw it. Let's just get decisive battle. There we go. Let's get the guy that boosts our lads. Okay. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, reduces the popularity of everything. That doesn't really matter. Sure. Gains us political power. And then the 100 of Flowers campaign starts. Whoa, what? Whoa, what? The 100 of Flowers campaign starts. People will be allowed to point out the flaws in our government and make critiques about them. This is a plot to expose malefactors. However, their critiques may sway our people's will. Uh, that the people might think our government is incapable and become more attracted to other parties. Uh, that the people before we arrest these malefactors. I love how shitty that campaign is. Is that I'm, I'm willing to bet that was actually a campaign that Mao did the cunt. Anyway, um, what do we want to do? We could go. No, no, no. We're the new communism beacon. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Daily communism support, ideology drift defense. Oh, we actually lose cause if we do that. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that idea, that's for sure. What's going on over here? I still don't really understand what this is. Like, what is it meant to be? The Fentiang, Fentiang click. There's like, I don't know, I don't really know like what this whole part here really is. Anyway, um, let's grab that good old... Go land reform? Farmers uprising? What? Sure. Um... I guess that just really affects them. Cult of personality? Ooh, that's good. There's so many fun things here. Uh, is there anything... Okay, what will get us like... Economic reform? <gasps> Economic reform! That's where we're going. We're going to the Great Leap Forward. Awesome. Gen gen generously? Uh, fucking. How Generalissimo Lin. Huh. Um, screw it. Yeah, let's, let's go down here. Land reform and suppress counter revolution. That's going to take a long time. I think we'll go land reform first because we want to get our industry working. Also, holy shit, 30 million uh, soldiers. Yeah, we got a few. A few, at least, you know. Right, link these boys up. Oh, they're probably going to run to Taiwan, aren't they? We better get Taiwan. Taiwan's going to be mine. Hey, the first of our artillery. Soviet Union's declaring on Sweden. Is Sweden not in the Allies? I have a feeling this is going to go really badly for the Soviets in a moment. There's a reason why we're leaving you on your own, Soviet Union. It's because you keep declaring on people, and that's not nice. Um... Right, actually, if we can go here, we could boost up our artillery, or we could go get the new type of guns and make our uh, guns even better. And that sounds like an excellent idea. Let's get ourselves some tungsten from the Soviet Union. Let's declare to Norway. Sweden's joined the Allies. Oh, boy. 
Soviets, why do you do what you do? Things are going to go real bad for you real soon. I mean, we can switch up from Enforced Patriarchy now, can't we? Because I don't really need it. Yeah, let's uh, let's switch up and we can go... Total Equality? Total Equality. Shit. <laughs> We're now getting negative political power. Um, well, crap. We're going to have to, like, stop our focuses for a bit just so we can buy off order above all. But still... But still... Why else are we losing it? Uh, just order above all. All right. But still, we have now 51 million manpower, which I find endlessly amusing. Perfection. It's bloody lovely edge. Problem is, they're actually becoming hard to root out as we get down to the last few people. We're just going to stop the attack for a little bit and focus on the key areas. I love how we've just got 20 dudes attacking here, because <laughs> half of them are the super elite individual units. Honestly, they're probably going to wipe themselves out. They're going to be like, they're going to attack, run out of uh, equipment, and then just die. Go on. And it would probably be smart for me to just ban them, or at least upgrade them. Actually, you know what? That's what we'll do. Since they all exist, we might as well just do this. Yeah, that's actually a great idea. If we just upgrade their divisions, sure, they won't be, like, super elite anymore, but they'll at least spread some of their influence around. And more importantly... There we go. We've now got a full-blown division there. Cool. So, retreat. And you get reformed, and we use up a bunch of our manpower. That's all good and fine. Let's reform our army, shall we? We now use artillery! Huzzah! Boost up our breakthrough. God, I just love having endless manpower. United Free Empire is gone. Why did it capitulate to us? Are we even at war with them? I don't think so. I'm so confused. Stop <laughs> Stop making me be at war with people I don't want to be at war with. It's very rude. Okay, there we go. Do more you. Support artillery. Now, the tanky tanks. We're going to add a few tanks to you lot. Um, actually, no, fuck it. We're not going to do that. Just leave that as B. A little bit more. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Beauty! Okay, now everyone's reformed in one way or another. Um, no, yes, no, no, no. Cool. And we can train up some more lads. Let's train up... Oh, hang on. Why don't you have support artillery? There's something wrong here. Ah, oh, crap. You don't have it either. Cool. The rest of these do. Let's train up all our guys as... And let's just tra train up as the top ones so that I don't forget. Hey, perfect. All right. We're going to set you guys to low. Make you guys... Ten lots of you. Pop you up in Beijing. Stick you in the army. Cool. Now, what were we doing again? Oh, we have to wait for bloody, uh... Yeah, alright, we'll wait, get rid of order above all, and then we'll be nice and happy. Nice, happy, and snappy. Actually, let's reform that whole line, shall we? Cool. T do not tell me we have to invade Taiwan, uh... To actually... Deal with you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You can move through our territory. Sure. Hey, we've got a bunch of military factories now. We can keep uh, bumping these up. <laughs> I like how Manchuria has way more infrastructure than we ever did. Ugh. We are savages. <laughs> we are just living in caves and throwing rocks at the Japanese because we don't even have a bloody road. Although, I think Beijing... What sort of infrastructure in Beijing? Wow, our highest is five, I think, in the whole country. You know, like, if I had any sort of mechan... Wait, What? Why is Chongqing so infrastructured up? Sure, whatever. Also, did the state of Japan... Did a democratic state just cancel our non-aggression pact? Okay, what, what you playing at? What you playing at, boy? What, 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 what you doing? Hey, we welcome our communist brothers. Ah, <laughs> uh, good one. Sure. I mean, you've opened up a little line into them. That's kind of helpful. Oh well, begin the assault. Let's end it now. Come on then. Oh, shit! Oh, they were actually still in the Chinese United Front. No, they weren't. They were just in the war with each other. What? Why are they in the war? Were they puppets? No, they weren't puppets. 
I'm so confused. Why did Yunnan and the Gung uh, click join the war? I thought Gung I thought Yunnan was in the Axis as well. Shouldn't that mean I'd be at war? I'm going sideways. Help! Right. Uh, how is how, <laughs> no? How has this occurred? Stop this! This is a silly idea. You're not going to get away with this. No. Stop it. Australia, you're not know fine. We'll have an aggression packing with you. Packed, rather, with you. God, what are we going to do? Way, hey, 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 hey. Okay. So, we could satellite Tibet and Manchuria. Yeah, but. Wait, when did they invade Tibet? That's a great question. I don't recall invading Tibet. Manchuria. Manchuria. No, do we? Uh, I don't really feel like satelliting anyone this game. We've got enough puppets. Uh, we've got enough men help. We don't. I just want to have all the industry, and I want to make a big blob, big blob of Chinese manpower. Got to make sure we get Taiwan so they can't get away. Taiwan number one. Damn it! Grab you lot. And the turn a bit. Beauty. China was annexed. Awesome. We are still at war with the uh see click. So let's uh I like I change the name every single time I say it. There has not been a consistent pron uh, pron uh, pronunciation. Oh Jesus, now I'm even mispronouncing pronunciation. Right, uh let's go, bloody. Oh right, we're still waiting. Oh I, I wanna I wanna buy things again. I want to play with all the fun toys it's giving me. Oh, with the final dust settled in the Chinese Civil War, we emerge victorious. China has been defeated and we no longer need to act alone. Now we seek allies from around the world. Perfect! Australia, keep sending me shit, I love it! <laughs> I love they're just sending me artillery, I'm like, yep, come on. I don't know why you're doing this, but... Sure. Gimme! <laughs> yes! Feed me! Yes, you can move through my territory. I'm just gonna accept these now, screw it. Fine, whatever. Why are we not... Why is there not everyone here? Hang on. All of you go. All of you go. That's Portugal. Never mind. There we are. Okay, cool. Are you, are you actually all getting reassigned? Yep, cool. Alright. Oh, why are they all just clumped up on the right? There's like 30 there, 30 there, and there's like a few guys over here. That's a little weird. Alright. Whoa, okay, Canada. Thank you. Are you just trying to, like, starve all my convoys or something? I don't know, but I'm loving it. Hey, okay, we can switch from order above all to balanced approach, since we now have a, a lower national unity. We'll slowly grow that back up. Balanced approach is just ridiculously good. There's no reason not to have it. Right. Uh, the only reason, oh, I guess the only reason you wouldn't have it is if you have uh, problems with partisans. And you need to get those partisans down. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay, let, let's let's go express counter-revolutionaries. Hey, also boosts their political power gain. That's not too bad. We could go down here and start, like, reforming. I think we have to go down an economic reform, really. Yeah. Sure, let's do that. Hey, let's uh, link you boys up. There we are. Get your boys in the, f in the, uh, the army. Hey Denmark, hey France, how you doing? Hey! I like how we're using apparently MP40s. Was it MP41? MP40, I think it's MP40. Is the uh, submachine gun they used. The German submachine gun that is. They actually added the, what's it, the VSS, the, the, the weird 9mm sniper to play on no battlegrounds. Good bloody game, but that, that gun is weird. I'm not sure if I love it or hate it. I do enjoy the Vector, however. Good gun. God, now I just want to play some armor or something and play around with all the guns. It's quite a fun time. Alright, here, come on. Oh, also, we have an island now. Oh my god, we got dockyards for days. We need to invent boats so we can start building them and so we can go and invade Japan. Because that sounds like an excellent idea. Is there actually... There is something that's like, uh... There's something that, uh... Oh, liberate the Soviet people? Okay, that sounds interesting and sounds like something I'm gonna do. Um, no, but I swear there was something that was like declare war on China, on Japan rather. 
Ooh, maybe maybe this is what gives us the uh, the navy boost. Anyway, holy shit, we need guns. <laughs> oh god, we need guns. Oh boy, we need guns. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. Those are those are some guns we're gonna need. Also, we'll stop trading with you guys. We'll Actually, why am I trading with the Soviets? Since I'm a oh no, I, I'm I'm trading with them because uh, no convoys to actually get stuff to them because they're right next door. Right, nothing to worry about. Beautiful. Express kind of revolution revolutionaries. Uh, right. Factories, factories. I'm trying to find like the best uh infrastructure locations. All right, cool, lovely. Oh, why did I reject that? I just want to accept them. So I'll stop sending the bloody things. Are you seriously still not fallen? All of you march in. Off you go. Actually, maybe, yeah, maybe we can't take him just yet. It's running out of org. There's so little org here. Why is this? 96% attrition? What the fuck, man? Hang on. Now it's only 24. It's just bad supply. Oh, I guess, yeah, the supply must be awful. Yeah, good point. Oh, and they're sort of leaving their capital unguarded. Wait for it. We've got war economy. If we dropped back, we would get less training time, more dockyard factory, and construction speed. Yeah, let's do it. What, we lose like 35 million manpower? Who cares? We'll, we can always just go and get it again. No reason to worry. And hey, we'll buy some oil from the Soviet Union as well. Okay. I kind of wish there was like um, a modifier for how good your army was if you had like super low manpower restriction laws. So like a volunteer only army is going to be better than a uh, a, cons a conscripted army. I kind of like that. Like actually give you a little... Whoa, we've just got nine guys surrounded. I've just realized they're actually cut off. Let's give them a port. <laughs> eh, there you go. Enjoy. Yeah, we just need to get people out of here. We're not actually going to be able to win this war with this many people. Leave! Actually, just go to like another zone so you don't use up any infrastructure along the way either. Okay. But there we go. That's That's been a good little uh, episode. We've kicked China out of China. We're uh, made sure Japan's become democratic. As you know, we are great sponsors of Democrats after they... Uh, it's always weird. I never really say Democrats in anything, but except to a reference to America and American uh, political parties. Anyway, uh, because of course Australia has just been funding us this whole war effort with all the artillery. God damn, feels like Axis and Allies, where you can only build infantry as China, and uh, what's it? Uh, no, infantry and artillery. No, it's if the uh, if the road, the uh, Burma road, stays open. Where are we, Burma? Yeah, if the Burma road stays open, you can uh, you can build artillery as well. Which is a huge buff to an infantry-only nation. Um, right, let's get a march on. Wait for it. Talk to personality. Go! Come on, we want to knock them out before this end. Oh, we have to be at peace. All right, we'll start the Great Leap Forward. That's where we'll end it, so... Come on! Also... What's it? It's uh, the three red banners, right? That's Portugal. I keep trying to invade Portugal because they're the same bloody colour. Right. Hey, sending us more stuff. Thank you very much. Christ, we're just trying to wear them down here. They are not going to die, are they? No. Do we actually have to... Oh, we're going to have to send more of them out, aren't we? Radio. Come on. March on in. Here we go. We'll send these 12, like, reserve guys in. We just want to chop up these guys, and we'll send all the guys that had them surrounded uh, out. Go, 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 go. We have 42 divisions on one tile. This shouldn't be allowed. It simply shouldn't be. Like, we got 43 dudes just chilling up over here. Can everyone go here? Enjoy. Relieve the supply a little bit more. Like, having less troops here actually makes us fight better. This is silly. Right. Roll on through, grab up that. Just slowly partition our way through, come on. Bloody hell. Rightio. And hey, surround this guy. Come on. And then all of these bastards here, 
soon as you get this done, come on. Come on. Gods above, can you end it? There we go. All can go join up here. Yay, party elsewhere. We're rushed to be at peace. Uh, I mean, let's just, we'll end the war now. So let's let's not get a new focus or anything. Oh God, all right. Surround him completely, screw it. We're not about to win this attack. All right, so. Hey, he's gone here. You pull back attack there. Go a little force, there we go, nice. Moving it all through. We will be done in a bloody moment and we can finally, oh, what's this? Hey, this thing, no, hang on, that's no, you cheeky bastards, stop that. Stop it. Never started, okay, good. You are gonna stay under our reign all you want. All we want, rather. Cool, let's build some shit there, actually. Build some infrastructure. Some military factories. Hey, the new types of guns. Oh god, that's gonna make our problems worse, actually. Oh, we're gonna have to build a lot of these guns, aren't we? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that'll be a little while. Hey, okay, so in the time it took me to finish that up, the German Reich took over the Danish Imperium. <laughs> no fucking surprise. Wait, they didn't join the Allies. Hungary's joined the Axis, and Turkey declared war on the Assyrian Empire. Right. We, we, we could... We could puppet China. I kinda like that idea of puppeting China as China. China. But no, no, we've been over this. We're taking all states. Uh, God, I don't know what... Okay, we're gonna take that state definitely. We're gonna take that state definitely. Do we just... Actually, these states are really good. We're, okay, fuck it, we're taking all of them. Excellent. Italy has joined the Yunnan people. Oh shit, we are actually at war with the Axis. Apparently just with Italy? Not with Germany. Also the Danish, Jesus Christ, look at the Danish Imperium. Right. Oh, you bastard. No, because of the whole Yunnan Free Empire thing, we can't actually... Motherfucker! We can't do the Great Leap Forward because we have to go invade Germany to get them to stop being at war with us. Well... In order to invade... How is Poland still a thing? Oh, they ceded Danzig, that's how. Anyway, in order to get through to uh, to Germany, it's pretty clear we're going to have to go through someone else. I like how at this point we're actually just being part of the Allies. This is, this is silly. This is silly. Oh boy. Wait, what? Oh yeah, the British Rara is at war with the common... The British Rara is at war with the common turn? What? They totally fuck it. Oh, of course, because the, um, right, never mind. I'm not sure why I'm surprised about that. Also, Bulgaria is sending us to... The Socialist Republic of Bulgaria is sending divisions to us. All right. Oh, shit, apparently they've sent divisions to every single nation in the world. Go Bulgaria. Hell yeah, okay. Sure, we'll have an aggression pact. That's where we're going to leave it, because I'm, I'm going to have to invade the Soviet Union next time. Probably should stop sending them uh, factories then, shouldn't we? Let's uh, let's start. No, we want to go a little bit there, and then most with the United States. Cool. Right. Why aren't you and the bloody Allies yet? No real reason. No. Okay. Well, let's reform the army. Here we are. And what border are we going to sit them on? Is Mongolia in the common turn? Yes, it is. Okay. No, it isn't actually. What? Oh, it is. It's just I can't connect the borders here because we haven't actually started the war yet, and this always, always annoys me. Oh, well. I've been Rumi, and this has been Communist China. What a bloody run. Like, we've switched names like five times by now. I wonder if we can switch again. Also, what was that? Hang on, Mao, what? Oh, you got charismatic, right. Organization. Mao is fucking ridiculous. Look at that. And he's skill eight. 
Jesus. Alrighty. Farewell.